are here at Six Flags St. Louis. This is my first time ever at the park and I'm excited to see some of the awesome coasters that they have. Oh my god, I just got off of my 100th credit, Mr. Freeze Reverse Blast. That coaster is outstanding. It is ridiculously intense. We were in the front row too, and oh my god, that was just outstanding. We just got off a of front row on American Thunder. That was actually really fun. Definitely not the best GCI I've ridden, but it has some nice little pops of airtime and some decently strong laterals. Ah. 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 I just got off of Pandemonium. Uh, that was a fun little spinning coaster. Didn't do anything good or bad. It's just kind of a credit. We then went over and scored a ride on The Boss, the park's massive CCI wooden coaster. I went in with mixed expectations. I heard that this was one of the best coasters in the park. However, after my rides on Legend and Raven, both at Holiday World, I was not looking forward to riding another one of CCI's creations. After getting my first ride in the second car, I love this coaster's magnificent layout with great airtime, ridiculous laterals, and some great speed. However, However, it was extremely rough, like unbelievably shaky, and I really didn't want to ride it at all. However, my dad really enjoyed the coaster, and he was sitting right next to me, and he wanted to come back around for seconds, and I guess that was a good thing, because after my next three rides, I really had a completely different opinion of the coaster, but we will get to that later. After riding an airtime-filled shaky wooden coaster, we then went over to ride the exact opposite, Screamin' Eagle. A really smooth wooden coaster that doesn't have any forces, like at all. Zero airtime or laterals, but we'll get to that in a sec. We just got off of Screamin' Eagle. That was surprisingly smooth, but also had surprisingly little airtime. Like for a coaster that is all airtime hills, you don't really go out of your seat. However, it is very smooth, so, and, it, and it's still kind of fun. We just got off of the River King Mine Train. Uh, that was a pretty standard mine train. Uh, it kind of takes place in the woods, so that's cool. And it has a surprise drop in the end that resides in a tunnel. And in the back row, it actually has some nice air time. We then had the unfortunate opportunity to ride Ninja, the park's custom aero looping coaster. Most of the ride is fine, with very little head banging. However, that sidewinder is absolutely terrible. It has so much head banging, it is ridiculously uncomfortable. You will most likely get whiplash, and it honestly just hurts. just got off of Batman the Ride. That was super intense. It was also really smooth. That definitely exceeded my expectations. That was an awesome b and effort. We now have picked up all nine of the credits at this park, so now I think it's just time for a marathon on Mr. Freeze. After getting a mini marathon on Mr. Freeze, I decided that that was enough, at least for now, because riding this coaster is honestly like a workout. It is so incredibly challenging to marathon this coaster. It's just so intense, it really wears you down to your core, but in the best way possible. Okay, so we just did the boss again, this time in the front row. I have a completely different opinion. That coaster is amazing. It's super smooth in the front. It has amazing airtime and ridiculous laterals. 
I am definitely gonna come back and get a night ride on this thing. Since the sun was starting to set, I wanted to go on a footage lap around the park, which we did. Then it was already dark out, so I got a back row night ride on American Thunder, which was awesome. A lot better than my first ride in the morning up front. Then we moved on to a front row night ride on Mr. Freeze, which was simply put phenomenal. Then we moved on to two back-to-back -back night rides on the boss, one in the front row and one in the back. Both of them were equally amazing with great airtime, fantastic laterals, and overall an amazing way to end out the night. We just got off of two back-to-back -back night rides on the boss, one in the front seat, one in the back. That coaster is outstanding. It's ridiculously intense. And unfortunately, we do have to leave now, but that is an absolutely amazing way to end out the night. After those two back-to-back -back night rides on the boss, we decided to call it a day and head back to the hotel. Overall, here was my ride count from the day, and I was really satisfied with it. Five on Mr. Freeze, four on the boss, two on American Thunder, and one on every other roller coaster. When I visited the park on October 17th, 2020, I had platinum flash passes, so that definitely helped out the product activity of my day. Anyways, that'll wrap up this video. Have you ever been to this park? Let me know in the comments down below. I really think that this is a great park and it doesn't deserve any of the hate that it unfairly gets. Anyways, I'll catch you guys next time on Hang Time Thrills.